All right, it's been a while since I've done a video like this, so without wasting any time, let's dive in. Dream is an app which is made to create illustrations and drawing by just words and what you want on a picture. Trust me, this is the most bizarre illustrations app I've ever come across. In this case, I'll type in horse and press this style and let it do its work. And what you'll get is, um, yeah, I guess that's a horse. Like, don't really know but the best part is no two illustrations are same so expect to have a very own design just for you who knows you could create a wallpaper for yourself in life we are supposed to have goals one of the best ways to have goals in life is by creating a bucket list enter the very minimal looking app called bucket where you mention all of your favorite bucket list goals into the app and have it organized under category target date to do list inside the bucket list goal location and the website. It's definitely a well-made application for someone who looks forward to achieve their goals in life. I'm referring to you. Yeah, I want a rule peacock. Someone make life easier for me, please. One of my favorite apps on this list is called Moodflow. This is a virtual diary where you note down how your day has been. You can also use this journal to type in your thoughts for the day and review how well your month has been going so far. There is also a feature called Habit Challenges where you note down your daily challenges on the application and make it remind you every day about it and keep note of how your progress goes. Overall, I love the app and how it's set up and how it works seamlessly. Next app we have is called Flipboard. Yes, it's a news application, but it is by far the best one I've come so far regarding general news. The first thing that attracts is the animation to switch between different news pages. It's subtle animations, but gives a whole another feeling to the app overall. You can choose from what you choose to see and what you don't want to see, organize your news topics and stay up to date into the latest news available. What's an app list without a weather app, right? This is called Today Weather. What's so special about it? Interface. Just look at it. Apart from the ads, app feed is very minimalistic, moderate embracing and is visually very pleasing. Apart from the visual experience, the app also does function very well. From humidity, UV index, early forecast, daily forecast, air quality, sun moon rise and set times, wind, it just has everything you need. On top of that, you can also have multiple number of locations set on the app. It also has a feature to give you a heads up before a rain or a snow warning. Hours before, definitely something you should have. Volume is a beautifully crafted app for readers who have very limited time to get into the knowledge they need. This app curates the best of the best articles, books, information and novels and makes it easier and convenient to read for any viewer. From beautiful animations, pictures and colors to a never-ending selection of stuff to read, this is the best you could have on a cold Friday evening beside the bonfire with a cup of hot chocolate. Trust me, you won't regret it. Picnic is an app which is created to make editing easier. If I'm being honest with you, I really don't know how it manages to do it, but it's by far the best I've seen an automatic editing application do. I barely have anything to describe, you can literally see it. Get ready to check it out, boost up your Instagram feed. Speaking of not remembering stuff, Bring is a grocery shop list application and is very, very well made. The design is so simple, I mean, just look at it. This should be a game changer if everyone used this instead of staying in the line and getting in front only to realize you've forgotten something and that thing you've forgotten will only come to your mind when you reach home come on it's 2022 if that hits you in the head trust me download this right now oh yes on top of the shop list there is a recipe section where you can literally click on anything which flavors you see what you need to make and put them into your grocery list bam it's that simple nowadays. If this doesn't satisfy you, I'm concerned if you're actually okay. Ever wished if you could just read the main points of a book rather than reading a whole of 8,876 pages where the author talks about his long lost son? 
DeepStash is the app for you. This app is made thoroughly on the purpose of minimizing the time wasted on reading so much and curating you what you need to know about the book. From reading 12 rules of life, you wouldn't need to read the whole book to figure out the 12 rules. You are literally given it short and formed by the app for you to read while you teleport, I mean transport. That's how easy it is. Nyx is a music player which probably is finally the music player I've been looking forward for. What's so special about it? The interface. From scrolling animations to subtle back and forth animations, this is such a visual treat. Yes, it does have an equalizer and yes, it does make a difference unlike some other music players out there. If you're looking for a music player, definitely check it out. Here's one for the inner cook in you. Tasty is the best app you would find for food. I missed out the word. My oh my, the app interface is wonderfully made, not to mention the tasty dishes as well inside. So what's this all about? This is a digital cookbook, but very well made. I mean it. From how much time it will take to cook the meal, the exact ingredients, and oh yeah, it automatically adds up all the products to your shopping list if you have a Walmart around you. The detailed instructions Tips and pictures from other people who have tried the recipe before. It's just everything you need and more. Locata 5 is an app, like it says in the name, which eliminates all available ads when connected to its service. It automatically builds in its own, very own VPN service, which makes ads not appear when you use it. Definitely check it out. Ever been concerned about what apps use your location and your camera and your storage and want to stop it? Balancer is an app which makes things easier. It automatically gives a heads up when an app takes control over your storage, location or camera and depending on the time you've set or manually, it automatically turns out the access to the application. Game changer. One of the best apps I've ever come across on the Google Play Store is called Fabulous. Just like the name says, relying on your mental health, it's the perfect app to make you a better person over a period of time. Instead of pushing you into the deep end, this app takes it slow every day and makes you understand the process and why you are doing it and what results you will see. I personally love this app so much. Definitely check it out and you won't regret it, trust me. Last but definitely not the least is Who Touched My Phone. As how it's been said in the title, this app is finally a security application which intends to find out who was snitching on your phone. Even if they figure out your password, it will have a picture of them without showing them. You can set it to successful unlocked attempts and failed unlock attempts and straight away view who's behind the sneaky work. It's probably just you looking at yourself, but you never never know. You never know. And with that, that is the final app on the list. And I hope you like the video, share the video around, like the video, subscribe if you're new here and yeah, have a nice day and I'll see you all in the next one.